I often think about the statement you refer to as the graduation statement in A Course in Miracles, I need do nothing. How does that apply to catastrophic circumstances or facing huge and overwhelming challenges? Yeah, that sounds like an oxymoron, doesn't it? Or, or that, that, that's not really the way to do this, is that I need do nothing, especially in crazy circumstances, catastrophic circumstances, or huge challenges. It's absolutely not the first inclination of the ego to let yourself recognize I need do nothing. Feel that for a minute. If there's a challenge going on in the world around you, and you don't feel like you need to fix it or change it, you're stepping back. That means there's no judgment when you move in. If you say, I need do nothing, that means you're comfortable with a situation that you're able to objectively assess. And from that comfort and innate sense of safety and security, you will address it the most effectively. The I need do nothing statement means not only are you feeling relaxed and like you, you know, we've said so many times you relax and let the divine come forward as you and your ego recede to the background. You're just being guided as though you're being pushed from behind by angels and you'll arrive in the situation very effectively doing things that feel as though you're being present. And there'll be such a flow and, and beauty to that and perfection to that because you don't need to fix it or change it. You're there to serve. It's you showing up entirely. Only the ego needs. The soul is in a state of constant fullness. The divinity of us is in a state of constant fullness. It's in a sweet repose until we ask it to engage until we bring it forward. And what that looks like is it's more like shining light on a situation where things that weren't apparent or evident before become very apparent, ways to help, ways to connect. That's because the soul, the I need do nothing part of us, already sees itself as connected, does not see itself as separate from the situation, does not see itself as separate from anything, sees itself as one. But what it does see itself as is love within the situation, the love that might be absent from the situation. So even though it's moving in without doing anything, not needing to fix it or change it, it blankets it with reality, with love. So you'll feel the difference is that there, it feels like your, your mind is suspended in, at, at, at mostly at critical times, catastrophic circumstances, or facing huge, huge and overwhelming challenges. It's when often people's minds shut down. They don't, they're not thinking. And in those moments, many people have described this having situations like that where time slows down. It's slowing down enough for us to be able to do everything we would need to do that would maybe feel impossible to a limited mind, but to do it all effectively and efficiently and fully and completely and beautifully and lovingly, which happens in a timeless place. So you don't need to prepare for this. You don't need to do anything to be able to tap this except for become present and relax. The more you can get yourself used to that mantra, I need do nothing, the more you'll engage life without the judgment, but you'll still engage life. You'll be told where to go and what to do. It's not a statement of, you know, malaise or sitting back and, and distancing yourself. It's a statement of total and complete engagement. I need do nothing, but when I'm sent in, I, I'm there from a place of absolute love and presence. Really different. I highly recommend that you um, get yourself in a place where you ready yourself for this experience because there is nothing better than to be able to show up to life transcendent, 
and, and to know that you're not doing it, I need do nothing, but the divine is doing it through you. It means letting yourself get into a place very often where you're not listening to the chattering mind, but you're letting yourself go into that mind that's just open, free, and empty. And you're still staying in that place in rapt anticipation of hearing anything that the divine has to say, because it's always loving and, and beautiful and promotes a feeling of connectivity and presence. The more comfortable you get with that, the more it's always available to you, but especially in situations that you could find as catastrophic circumstances or huge and overwhelming challenges. It's there. Just get yourself used to being receptive to, to let yourself be in and of and through it. 